The UK stock market has held up pretty well in comparison to our transatlantic counterparts in the US. But is the UK stock market, specifically the FTSE 100, about to crash? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. Remember, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button and the like button and pop any comments you have down below. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the video. It's been a pretty rough year in terms of investing in the stock market. For those of us who invest in the stock market here in the UK, returns have been pretty poor. And for those of us who invest in the US stock market, well, the less said about that, probably the better. So far this year, the FTSE 100 has lost just 6%, which compared to the S&P looks like Christmas has come early. So far, the S&P 500 is down a whopping 20 plus percent since January. Combine this with collapsing share and bond prices and you have the average US personal portfolio down roughly 44% in 2022. But with the overhang of Brexit still fresh in everyone's minds, the cost of living crisis worsening, interest rates rising and the UK currently without a government that really knows what they're doing, could we be about to see the fall of the FTSE 100? It will come as no surprise that the UK stock market has been trading at a rather heavy discount compared to many other major stock markets for the last 10 or so years. Right now, the FTSE 100 trades on a 13.5 PE ratio, an earnings yield of 7.4% and a dividend yield of 4.2%. Whereas my normal market of choice, the S&P 500, the US, has a PE ratio of 18.3, an earnings yield of below 5.5%, and a cash yield of just 1.8%. So in comparison, the FTSE 100 looks pretty undervalued. But just like the property market here in the UK starting to show signs of weakness, are stocks cheap in the UK for a reason? Global fund and investment managers seem to be taking a slightly bearish stance on the UK market, both of which were actually quite pro the UK just in August and September but are now neutral in terms of a buy rating. We also have Barclays analysis last week showing the biggest year-to-date UK equity outflows on their records, which began all the way back in 2006. The tricky part about predicting if the UK stock market is going to crash is that while UK equities are cheap or appear to be cheap, people just aren't interested in equities at all, putting further downward pressure on the valuations. Bank of America's monthly survey showed that fund managers' allocations to global stocks were at an all-time low last month. In simple terms, there is a smaller amount of money available to UK equities. The truth is, I believe winter is going to be rough. I think all of the problems currently facing the world, and specifically the UK, are going to become amplified over the colder months, leading to a potentially negative turn for the FTSE 100, which until now has managed to remain fairly stable. In terms of individual stocks, the top five worst performers have been online grocer Ocado, having only turned a pre-tax profit three times in 22 years, with the last one being 2016, plus pre-tax losses continuing to increase. So it's no surprise the stock is down 69% year to date. In number two spot we have fashion retailer JD Sports currently down 55% year to date mainly due to issues surrounding governance and competition regulators. Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust is coming in at number three having traded at a high of £15 per share in November last year. One of the UK's most successful and popular investment trusts has suffered a sharp decline in its price since the start of 2022. The stock is now down nearly 43% again mainly because of inflation and interest rate hikes. Royal Mail we have at number four in the worst performers for the FTSE. Royal Mail shares are currently trading at roughly half their June 2021 valuation, with the firm having been forced to slash its profit forecast in January, largely as a result of its £70 million restructuring charge. Plus, you have workforce strikes, which will certainly not be helping the valuation right now. And at number five, we have Ashted Group. Industrial equipment rental company Ashted's 2022 share price decline has very little to do with its financials actually, but all to do with the market's concerns about soaring costs and the broader economic outlook, which at this stage shows no signs of letting up. And finally, we have to consider the new PM, Mr. Rishi Sunak, and his potential impact on the markets. When Sunak was announced initially as the Prime Minister of the UK, there was some initial excitement in the market, leading to a small relief rally. I suspect most of this was because we were no longer without an appointed Prime Minister, so there was just some 
relief. However, this rally was unfortunately short-lived. Top city economists now coming out saying Rishi Sunak's economic approach will lead to a deeper recession than previously thought, but will keep a lid on interest rates ushering in fears that we could be in for years of austerity. Well guys, there you have it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and pop any comments you have down below. And remember, I also have a monthly newsletter that you can sign up for in the link in the description. So, until next time, 